So let's just um, settle into our meditation posture. And so for many, a number of us, not all of us, are sitting at a desk with the feet down. Um, if that is you, make sure your feet are kind of parallel so that you don't have your ankles across like this or doing anything weird. Like I know that's how I sit when I'm sitting at a desk. My knees over, ankles crossed, legs out. I mean, it's just not helpful for the back or the sacrum. So just for this purpose, try and be disciplined, keeping everything straight. And if you need to lift up your feet, um, put a cushion underneath, you can do that. You can put a couple of cushions underneath your knees. And that's very helpful if your knees and your hips are tight. Sit bones, sits, how they say in America here, sits bones are raised. And you can, whatever's comfortable for you, I mean, and usually if it's about two to four inches, it, it gives you a bit of elevation it, um, and helps to lengthen the spine, straighten the spine also helps it if you've got tight hips and knees. Hands are in the meditation mudra, right hand nestled in the left with the thumbs touching. And imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light stretching from the base all the way up through the crown of the head. And just put some air in between those vertebrae and coax, very gently coax all of those tiny muscles along the spine coax them to lengthen release your neck a little bit take a nice deep breath and ex and actually exhaling just imagine you're lengthening a little bit more so you're not kind of sitting up straight you're just very very slowly lengthening 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 you'll be surprised how much length you have Shoulders are aligned with the hips and the head is slightly tipped forward. You want to put some space in the back of the neck, length in the back of the neck. Not, and if, if your chin is up, it's a little bit constricted. And welcome, Manuel, you don't want that. Tip of the tongue is on the roof of the mouth, relax the jaw and the lips are slightly apart. Just bring your attention to the crown of the head and relax the scalp, the forehead the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the area around the mouth. Then bring your attention to the back of the scalp, the back of the head. Relax that area, your ears, temples, back of the tongue and the jaw. And just bring your awareness to the back of the neck and just relax, release any tension there, your shoulders, shoulder blades and then relax the throat, the chest, the belly arms, hands, fingers and feet and toes And bring your mind to the breath, noticing the sensation of the air as you're inhaling and exhaling. If there are any sounds in your environment, just allow those sounds to be there. And just notice what it is that's distracting you. What particular sounds are you attracted to or you try and push away? And just let them fade and then bring to mind this river of mental moments that is constantly running that we're engaging with we're making stories up about we do all kinds of things with whatever's going on in our head so just relax and allow those thoughts to arise to abide and to fall without becoming engaged So just sitting on the bank of the river, watching the river flow by. You're not in the river, 
You're not engaged with the river. You're free from it. So let's just bring to mind all the people of our life. So your friends, your loved ones, your spouses, your the people that you are in constructive, supportive relationships with, the people who love you, take care of you, who you take care of. And then there's those people in your life you have considerable difficulty with. And then there's those strangers. As I was saying in the puja earlier, I passed hundreds, maybe thousands of people today as I was driving on the freeway and then through all the traffic, through San Rafael, through San Anselmo, back home. All of them. They were in my life fleetingly for moments. And I didn't think about a single one of them. But I am thinking about the people I love and I care about. But I should really have equal concern for those people in the traffic today, the people at the supermarket earlier. And why? Because they all have this unbelievable wish to be happy, constantly looking for it, never finding it, wanting to avoid suffering, constantly got problems arising. And they all have this unbelievable capacity for this enlightened mind, just like you. And the other thing, I love to think about this, at any point in time, that stranger in the car, in the traffic, could become your spouse, your loved one, your beloved. You never know when you're going to meet them. And that enemy could become your friend. Your friend could become that person that you have difficulty with. So just think well, for all these people of our life, we're going to do this Vajrasattva practice tonight. For all the people who are, oh my goodness, all those children who were killed yesterday, their parents, keep in mind the person who killed them, people in Ukraine, people involved in the fires in um, northern New Mexico and Arizona, quite a few people to think about, so just motivate for them and of course for yourselves as you're moving along the spiritual path. So just remember there is no negativity that cannot be purified and this purification process is basically a psychological one. You know, we create negative, ne negativity with our mind so we can change it by creating positivity with our mind. So first we start with the power of regret. Now, so sincerely regret from the depths of your heart anything you have done to harm any living being on this day, in this life and in all past lives you can think of specific actions of both your body and your speech. And the reason we regret is based on this idea of karma, action. So anything we experience in this life is based on our past actions. Anything that's ripening is based on our past actions. So we understand all about suffering. We don't probably want any more suffering or angst. So let's just think about this idea of pulling out all those negative karmic seeds before they ripen as suffering for us in the future. So think like this, I regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows because I do not want the future suffering, I'm sick of suffering. And also regret any anger, attachment and the rest to the cause of why we harm others and think again, I'm sick of this suffering. So then think, Okay, what can I do about it? Whom can I turn to? So we rely upon the Buddha, the doctor, who has the methods we can use to purify, the methods we can use to heal ourselves. And we're not wanting him to forgive us. This is not just some authority figure that we need to get forgiveness from. 
who's going to fix everything for us. We are taking responsibility. First, we're taking responsibility by regretting, but we're taking responsibility by taking it upon ourselves to heal ourselves, to own up to our stuff and to deal with it. So we're going to rely upon Vajrasattva's methods. So imagine Vajrasattva above the crown of your head. So you can imagine also this is just to make it a little bit more personal. This is the mind of your teacher, your lama, your trusted mentor manifesting in this aspect for your benefit. You can imagine he's made of radiant blissful white light sitting cross-legged on a white lotus which although born out of mud is untainted by that mud just like our enlightened potential born out of our delusions but yet untainted by them. So here's his radiant beautiful face his eyes are long and peaceful and full of love and compassion for us. He doesn't have any judgmental thoughts towards you. He's really really happy to see you, really pleased you're here. And it's like however you've shown up this evening, whatever's going on for you, whatever kind of grumpy mood, tired, whatever's going on, it's perfectly fine. Just fine. He has a sweet red mouth, his hair is black and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom. The right is holding a vajra which represents the indestructibility of compassion. And their being crossed represents the union of these two, which symbolizes enlightenment itself, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So developing compassion. In order to develop compassion, we need to rely on other beings. So the very beings we have harmed and those who have harmed us by developing compassion for them. So think particularly of someone you may have harmed recently and in the past and then generally all beings we have ever harmed since beginning this time and then think of someone who's harmed you and this is a little bit more difficult because well it hurts maybe we want revenge but just try thinking you bring to yourself a mind of this person you're wishing this person to not suffer and the same for the person you've harmed this is what compassion is wishing them to be free from suffering and the the reason why is because the suffering they've caused you is going to return as suffering for them sometime down the future, sometime down the track. So make a strong aspiration to do this practice of purification for the sake of all these sentient beings and think I must purify for their sake. So the power of a remedy, this is their actual medicine doing the practice of purification. So we're using um, light, visualization of light and nectar and recitation of the mantra. So first we purify the body and Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful white nectar sort of like coming out of a hose or from a waterfall very forcefully from his heart and it arcs around it enters your crown and pours into your entire body filling you completely and it keeps pouring into you until it forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you have ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid and this pours out of you and disappears into space, not one atom left, as we recite the mantra. Om Vajrasafa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasafa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mepi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sidam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Kata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Mahasamaya Satva Ah Hum Pe Om Vajrasafa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasafa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mepi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sidam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajra Bawa Mahasamaya Satra Ah Hom Pe Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sapokaya Mebawa 
and erecta me boa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sidam shriyam kuru hum ha ha ho bago en sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva ahum pe um vajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita dira me boa sutokaya me boa sapokaya me boa Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagu an, sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe, ambhadra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita, dida me boa, sutokaya me boa, supokaya me boa, anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagu an, sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Vajra Sattva Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sattva Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sutokaya Me Boa Supokaya Me Boa Anarakta Me Boa Sawa Siddhi Me Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhago An Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Vajra Sattva Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sattva Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sutokaya Me Boa Boa supokaya me boa, anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagu an, sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. So be delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any sentient being with your body is now completely purified. And think there is no way you could do anything other than benefit others now with your body. And just rejoice. Think how amazing that would be. So the next is a purification of the speech. And Vajra, Vajra Sattva very compassionately sends powerful nectar again from his heart chakra. And it arcs around again quite forcefully pouring into you, filling you completely. Except this time all this negativity of your speech pours out of the top of your head, top part of your body. Kind of overflows disappears into space but it's overflowing quite powerfully it's not just kind of dribbling over it's quite powerfully shooting up you can imagine so and what's going is all the gossip and the harsh speech and the useless speech and lying talking badly about others behind their backs all of this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you and overflowing as you recite the mantra Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sutokaya Me Boa Sapokaya Me Boa Anarakta Me Boa Sawa Siddhi Me Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhago An Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sutokaya Me Boa Sapokaya Me Boa Anarakta Me Boa Sawa Siddhi Me Mimpi yatta sawa kama sita me Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagu an Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe Vajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita Dida me boa sutokaya me boa supokaya me boa Anarakta me boa sawa siddhi mimpi yatta sawa kama sita me Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagu an Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a Hum pe Um Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sutokaya Me Boa Supokaya Me Boa Anarakta Me Boa Sawa Siddhi Me Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagu An Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Um Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sutokaya Me Boa Supokaya Me Boa Anarakta me boa sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagu an Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe Vajra safa samaya manupalaya vajra safa dina patita Dida me boa sutokaya me boa supokaya me boa Anarakta me boa sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagu an Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra Bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe Vajra safa samaya manupalaya Vajra safa dina patita Dida me boa sutokaya me boa Supokaya me boa 
and her actor me bowa sawa city me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha ha ho bhagavan sawa tata gata vajama me mutsa vajabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe so again feel so happy your speech is now completely purified and imagine it's not possible to do anything other than benefit others now with your speech so the next is the purification of the mind and Vajrasattva now very compassionately sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra and this arcs around it and enters your crown and fills your entire being. So it's just the same as when you walk into a room and you switch on a light. That light instantly dispels the darkness in the room. I'm talking about when you walk into a dark room, by the way. So it's the same here. When the light from Vajrasattva's heart touches your heart chakra, all the darkness of the negativity of your mind, that's all the depression and anger and anxiety and attachment and grasping. And I'm talking about unhealthy attachment and unhealthy desire, needing things, wanting things, grasping, and all the jealousy and bitterness and grudges. All this completely disappears with this light and this mantra. Om Vajrasafa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasafa Dina Patita Dida Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Sepokaya Mebowa Anaracta Mebowa Sawasidi Mepiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajama Me Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajrasafa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasafa Dina Patita Dida Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Sepokaya Mebowa and erecta me boa, sawa siddhi, me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Om vajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita, dira me boa, sutokaya me boa, supokaya me boa. Anarakta me bowa, sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Um vajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita, dida me bowa, sutokaya me bowa, sepokaya me bowa. Anarakta me bowa, sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Um vajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita. Dira me bawa sutokaya me bawa supakaya me bawa. Anarakta me bawa sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sitsa me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Um vajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita. Dira me bawa, sutokaya me bawa, sepokaya me bawa. Anarakta me bawa, sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Um vajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita. Dira me bawa, sutokaya me bawa, sepokaya me bawa. Anarakta me bowa, sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. So again, be delighted that all your delusions, which are the source of all of our suffering, all of your suffering, all of our own suffering, our delusions, and the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech, and these are totally purified, gone finished and think there is no space in your heart now for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion and so now is the purification of the imprints of negativity of the body speech and mind and so if you wish you can do a couple of mantras for each of the visualizations that we've just done of the body of the speech and of the mind or you can just imagine light and nectar pouring into you, filling you completely and eradicating even the subtlest, tiniest imprints of negative energy from your mind as you recite the mantra. 
Um, Vajrasafa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasafa Dina Patita Dita Mebawa Sutukaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anaracta Mebawa Sawasidi Mepiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hum Pe Um, Vajrasafa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasafa Dina Patita Dita Mebawa Sutukaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anaracta Mebawa Sawasidi Mepiyata Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hum Pe Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Dita Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anaracta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Me Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hum Pe Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Dita Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anaracta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Me Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Me Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anaracta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Me Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hum Pe Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anaracta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Me Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hum Pe. So now feel completely purified. And imagine not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Even the subtlest obscurations to omniscience have been removed. So next, this is the final step of the four opponent powers, and this is the power of resolve. So I'd like to add that everybody just rejoice in the efforts that you've been making. Pat yourself up on, up on the back. Good job. You know, whatever progress you've made over the past more than a year now, some of you have been doing this. Fantastic coming up, turning up night after night. And if you're not turning up night after night, you're watching it on YouTube. So I just really, really rejoice. It's very inspiring because I know everyone's so busy. It's so amazing. So rejoice for that. Then progress you're making with your speech, with your body, with your mind. And think of something to keep working on or to something new to work on. And think I'm just going to refrain from this thing for as long as reason is reasonable, whether that's three seconds, five minutes, eight hours while I'm sleeping, you know. And then just stick to it. And just think of something to work on between now and tomorrow night. You know, you can do maybe three sessions a day of three seconds each. Make it simple and rejoice. This aspiration, this determination is what gives us the strength to change. And we just do it gradually, slowly, humbly, step by step. But we keep some level of consistency. So to conclude, Vajrasattva is delighted with us and wanting to merge with your mind melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown and think my guru's body, speech and mind, Vajrasattva's body, speech and mind, and my own body, speech and mind are the same thing. And Namayeshi calls that union oneness. And he's very sweet English. So next, Rinpoche recommends to meditate on the emptiness of the three circles. In emptiness, there is no I, the creator of negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma. And there is no negative karma created. So at whatever level you understand emptiness, place your mind there for a little while. And in this way, think of all phenomena as being empty. They do not exist from their own 
side and you can also think that the way things are appearing to me are not necessarily the way they actually exist. So let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy we've created this evening during this purification to all the people of our life, to all living beings, particularly to those beings who are right now suffering and think may all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. So for His Holiness the Dalai Lama, the wish-granting, wish-fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind and Zagyatso I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. And for Lama Zafir Rinpoche, Tub <laughs> Pa dog so do je gondu jab ten shog. Then will one to you whose kindness exceeds that of all the conquerors, for those wanderers in far off places, especially the West, mindful of your loving concern for us and intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land, we make this request, O Lama, please, please live long. And for Geshe Sherab, Beloved teacher leading your students toward wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path, you are the unequal guide. Please live a long and stable life. Sorry I went a little bit over. Thank you very much. That was my advertisement at the beginning of the class, my four-minute advertisement. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for turning up, everybody. I look forward to seeing some of you tomorrow for... What is it? Buddhism in a nutshell. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. If you're coming, lots of love, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank Good you night.